all this is just embarrassing. You know, I I kind of recorded the entire video over again. And this is this is the second time, but yeah, welcome back everyone. Um thank you for coming back. This is of course a continuation on on our reprogrammable item locks, and we are using this guy over here to make a new design. And so I kind of want to show you this one. This is the design, but before we get to that, I want to show you the original design. Boom, there we go. This is the original design. It was originally water powered. We have, of course, observers here that activate um, droppers. So we basically have our item system that detects which key card you have. And we, of course, have five key cards. You can make this as long as you want. But of course, there's some inconsistencies with the water, especially in this section, because you can't actually have um, basically ice to slide the items across. So it kind of gets a little funky. So this one does have its limitations and is why this one is not the main one that I will be showcasing. That being said, I'll kind of show you the idea. They both ver work very similar. We have five key cards and we're going to toss the number four into here. And we are going to be, so like, let's say this is a shop. We'll have like some sign that says one key for this many um, diamonds or whatever. And so someone would buy that key and now they own that key. So let's say we bought the rename four key. We press this. Someone bought the rename four key. If you stand too close, you kind of activate it accidentally. Um, you press this button, it goes around and drops into here, and then it takes the dropper on the opposite side. You can see that pops over um, and deactivates and kind of kicks out the item there. This is a system that looks like this, where you basically you toss an item into here and it locks it. And then when it activates out and this has no item, then it unlocks it. And so it puts it all the way into this stream. This one goes into this stream, goes up this item elevator through water and gets into here. So yeah, all a bunch of great stuff. So we're gonna add this. This is our shulker box. We can change the item with we if we want. So let's go ahead and actually, um, Let's change the the tag to like dark oak sapling. Woo! Um, of course, we have a different tag right here, but let's just say we change it to dark oak sapling. So we are completely changing it um, out of the way, and we have to put the key card in first. Otherwise, the system breaks because you don't want the shulker box going in first, or else it gets locked into here and you can never get it back. That is on the user. Um, yeah, we then put in our shulker box here, press the button, and it sends it all the way around and back into the spot in which it left. So let's say we want to call up um, a different one. Let's call up, let's call up number two. Don't stand too close. My fault. <laughs> activates here, that one activates. All the items go up here and down there like so. Woohoo! Yay! Um, kick that one out. Let's actually, because this is like my refill, pretty much. Um, get all the way back around, rotates around, and boom. So yeah, water is very inconsistent at the same time. So I kind of go away with this with the big one, but yeah, that's the design. And if we want the dark oak sapling one to come back, put the item in there, click the button, and it gets activated and. All the dark oak stuff comes up and the box that matches it. So this is our exact box and it's all perfect. <sighs> ah, stay away. There we go. Um, so yeah, basically we have it all set up. Box goes around. Woo. So you can only have one out at a time. Um, only one, um, person using it at a time and of course you can have multiple key cards per as you could see we did um, change the key um, for the one so once you buy it you can change it to whatever you want because it kicks out both keys and to lock it you have to put your key back in otherwise what else are you gonna do um, make sure that at all times you don't leave with the box and run around because you want this full up at all times 
and if you don't want your shulker box you want an item in here to fill it up otherwise things can get a little funky that being said this is the main design the reason is because it's smaller um, it is a little bit slower um, just because and how it has to be oriented but um, it's a lot cleaner it's a lot more consistent which is nicer so there is also the other factor to it. Um, I do want to mention, over here I do have a thing that I, I have that sorts out the dummy item. Because there's a dummy item in here. So, see the dummy item? So we actually sort out the dummy item before it goes through the system here. Um, I don't have it over here because it's just so not needed and so unnecessary. Um, you can, of course, do it. You just want to sort it out before the items go through anything else. So this would be kicked out one extra um, than regular. So it would be one wider um, or one longer, however you orient yourself. Um, we go into here. Let's go ahead and call in number three. Three gets called in. They um, go around, kick out, and then they both drop down here, pull it up through an item elevator. And oh, hey, we got the item just out of, out of the blue. Um, this one does have a difference. You want to do the shulker box thing first. You press that button. This one dispenses the shulker box, which I like a lot better. Um, once we're done with the shulker box, we press the button. Woohoo. And then we relock it. There you go. It is relocked. Um, I did change the key on this one. So this one is a different key. And of course, we're going to get these items popping up any time soon. Do, 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 do. We grab these items out, we press this button, and of course we get our box for that. Press this button, re-drop re in that, Press put that in there, and everything's good. We're relocked. Um, trying to remember which one, but yeah, I think this one might be a changed box. I can't remember. Oh, wait, sorry. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so it's a blue box. Press this button. We have, of course, our shulker box. We can look in it, do whatever we want, and then relock it at the end. See? Pretty simple. Um, this one, of course, uses repeaters and um, and uh, trap doors, whereas the one over here actually uses um, droppers and observers because we have water systems. And so we don't want to have any problems there. Um, this one, of course, uses a um, an item elevator that's just blocks, because the other one uses water. So, to each their own, um, either way you want, um, you can use whatever. This one actually uses, like, the same area, because there's droppers, like, right here that go straight into these hoppers. And this one drops down, so all of those items stay in this area. Um, basically, woo. Basically, this one's pretty self-explanatory, pretty simple. Um, of course, this one doesn't interact. Um, and then, of course, we have this goes into a dropper. This is just to make it cheaper, uh, you know. <laughs> and then we have, in order to actually activate these guys, we have an observer checking this um, dropper and then um, activating this block, which then um, it does lock this guy temporarily, but it doesn't interfere. So... No problems, no harm, no foul. So yeah, that's going to be it for me today. Um, kind of an interesting um, design. I don't really think I need to do like a, a tutorial um, because you guys have a lot of good angles to see it. It's just the best way to explain it is um, it's a line. So if you go and pause here, you're able to build every single line like you want. And then you can switch out this and this for whatever but you need to make sure that this is an activated block from this and you want to make sure this is also an activated block that an observer can read so make sure that that's all good there and um so yeah we have this set up all the way across the dropper looks this direction the hoppers line up we have the droppers here and it's also a tileable design right there so yeah, pretty basic. It's just a lot of modules attached together. So not really a lot of difference to it. So yeah, that's going to be it for me today. Thank you for watching, everyone. And uh, see you later.